This tutorial will demonstrate how simple and easy sewing curves can be without any basting, pins, or special tools. I'm going to use my templates from my propeller quilt as an example. This is a piece of fabric cut using template A, and here is a piece of fabric cut using template B. As you can see, I have my walking foot attached. It feeds the fabric through with less pressure, and I don't get as many puckering pleats when I use this walking foot as opposed to a regular presser foot. So I take my pieces of fabric and I do right sides together. I have a quarter inch seam and I'm going to just do a couple stitches and then press this needle down button. Now I'm going to gently maneuver this top fabric around the bottom fabric. I'm going to go pretty slow and every handful of stitches I'm going to stop and I'm going to adjust my fabric. I'm going to move it so that it's always lined up with the bottom fabric. And you'll see that there are a couple little creases, but those will iron out. Now that I have my seams nicely pressed, you can see that those creases have come out. And I'm going to sew template C to my unit that I just created. So I take template C and I start about three quarters of an inch from the edge. You do not line up the edges. In a quarter inch seam, make sure I catch it and I have my needle down. Now I gently maneuver the top fabric over the bottom fabric, trying not to stretch it too much. And you can go slowly. Now here on the very edge, it's a little bit tricky because the fabric is pretty small. So I take these tweezers and I just gently grab that corner until it goes through and we got it. I'm going to go and iron this. Now that I've pressed my seams, I have all of my creases out. It's time to trim the block. So the finished size of this block is seven inches. That means for our quarter inch seams, we are going to be trimming this down to seven and a half inches. So what's important about this is that this background shape is going to form a diamond when you put four blocks together. I want this diamond to be as symmetrical as possible. So with my ruler, I'm going to try to line up this six and a quarter and six and a quarter. And eyeball right here, about three, three fourths of an inch, three fourths of an inch from each side. So that's about where I want it. I want to make sure we have seven and a half inches all the way around. So now I'm going to trim it up so that it's perfectly square.
And there's your block. Another tip I'd like to point out is you see here, these edges do not go all the way to the end of the block. When you're sewing your quarter inch seam, make sure that you get this full edge in your seam so you have no raw edges popping out. You don't want any loose strands popping out of your seam. So even if it takes just a little over a quarter inch to snag that corner, make sure you hit it. And you can see these all line up together so that they're going to be perfectly symmetrical. This is my simple technique for sewing curves with no pins.